We are the Liberty Intelligence Organization Network. And I'm your host. You can call me the captain. And basically this is our special report. Sorry that the camera's a little crazy there because I got it hooked up to the charger. The battery's almost dead. Again, it's a cell phone camera, so there's nothing nothing specially advanced here uh, because I don't have a lot of money because the New World Order's screwing everything up. Um, but basically, we're a news recap show. If you if you've been following us, if you haven't, I encourage you to go back and and watch through the videos we've uploaded, so you can become aware of the world you live in. And again, this is an easy way to do it. Uh, you don't have to do much reading, although I do provide links and encourage people to start looking into this information for themselves. But again, you can just watch the little nine-minute videos. You know, watch one a day, and you can get through them within a month. Um, and you will understand a lot more than you knew about the world before. And again, knowledge is power. It's, it's wealth. Uh, again, I think I, in, in the last video I talked about, you know, wealth is here and here, you know, not in this physical realm. Um, but again, people people still don't get that. Um, and, and, and again, you know, the, the people are going to try and discredit people who put the truth out there. That's, that's part of, of what it means to step into this position. You're going to be demonized. You're going to be ridiculed. You're, you're stepping into a position that the mainstream majority of people um, have been subliminally taught to disenfranchise. They've subliminally taught to hate people that talk about these ideals, that talk about these things, because it's the truth. The guys running the world don't want you to know their plan, um, because their plan is ultimately the total enslavement of the human race. Uh, so that being said, what, what we're going over here is the second amendment, the, important of, the importance of the Bill of Rights, and basically the, the dangers and threats to these Bill of Rights. And if you, you go check out the channel, that's what, what, what the main things we do is talk about liberty, and then talk about the threats and the dangers to our liberties. Um, and that's, that's really my goal, and I, I, think, I think the founder would agree, the co-founder that's uh, that w with me in the organization, who I think uh, hopefully will we'll be uploading videos soon. Um, I'm, per I'm going to try to get him involved in the in what, what I'm planning for the Paul Revere contest, um, be just basically because I need a, a cameraman, um, and 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 it'd be cool if we could get him involved too, um, doing some skits and stuff. I, I want to sort of do some comedy skits, you know. I'm thinking about this other stuff, but I'm digressing. What I want to talk about now is the threat, the, the assaults on Barrier Number Two, and again, Barrier Number Two is the Second Amendment. If you want to know what the Second Amendment is. I, got a, I did a whole video on the Bill of Rights, and in the last video of this special report right before this one, I actually did an in-depth analysis of what the Second Amendment is, what it means. But now I want to talk about all this stuff going after it. Now, if you, uh, I, I, in the last video, I talked about the Sandy Hook abnormalities, the horrible media coverage, just all the disinformation that was put out there. Nobody knew the truth, and that was the point of it. It was to make it so shadowy that you couldn't figure out the truth. Why? Because it was a staged event. It was an event they planned to use to promote this gun control stuff. This People shouldn't have a right to own weapons anymore. People shouldn't be able to defend themselves because of one crazy nut. And again, then they say there's these other crazy nuts, but most of these other crazy nuts have also been involved in stage shooting. So really, who's the guys we don't want to have the weapons? It's the New World Order because they do stuff like this. They do stuff like get a bunch of psychotic guys to go and shoot people up while while also putting all this fake stuff around there. And then these are also the guys that fly airplanes in the buildings. These are the guys that blow up embassies. These are the guys that do all this vicious stuff. And these are the guys that are saying, hey, you shouldn't have a weapon. You shouldn't be able to defend yourself. Don't worry about it. We'll take care of you. Again, it's like the pimp and we're the hose. And he's saying, oh, don't worry, baby. You don't need to protect yourself when you're out there on the streets. Don't worry about it. When when those Johns give you a hard time, when they start beating you down, just take it, and I'll come and handle it later. You know, after you get murdered, I'll come and take care of it. That's the, that's the, the way they want it because they don't want you to be able to stop them when they come to put the shackles on your wrist. And believe me, they are going to do that. Except it's not going to be shackles on the wrist. It's going to be, you know, electric shock collars, or really, it's probably just going to be an implantable chip that they can thus use to shock you if you refuse to follow orders or probably shut off your internal organs and kill you if they please. Um, yes, the technology is that advanced. We are in the 21st century and there is a bunch of technology. I mean, we have robots. We, there's a drink mixer that transforms into a robot, mixes your drinks, and transforms back into a drink mixer. It's, we are living in crazy times, and the problem is the technology is being kept hidden. 
and being released incrementally as a means to control us, to control our spending, to control our technological growth, and all these other stuff. And it's all in documents and white papers. But uh, I haven't had the time to research them and look them up, but you can go do it yourself. Now, I want to get into the main topic here after that you know, short rambling and ranting about, about all this stuff and talk about all the stuff that, that's going on, the assault on barrier number two. You know, like, like I, in a little skit, if you imagine that the Bill of Rights is a fortification defending us from tyrannical control, you know, you know, barriers three through ten have been eliminated, and barrier two is taking heavy fire. It is taking heavy fire right now. And this is the type of heavy fire it's taking. U.S. gun bans. There's all this talk about gun bans within legislations all around the country in different states and also at the federal level and probably at county levels too and even probably within city districts. <coughs> in my state, they're actually promoting a pretty strict gun ban, not as bad as California and New York is proposed, but it's still pretty bad. Again, they're proposing in my state that you can have eight bullets as opposed to seven. Um, so we get one extra in my state uh, compared to the New York ban. Um, maybe you can figure out what state I'm part of if you do the research. Uh, I don't plan to live in the state for a very long time, though, because uh, I've very much become disenfranchised at its progress. But I guess it, it doesn't matter where I go because it is a new world order. Um, so they're promoting these gun ban things. Now, what is it? They're, they're, they're threatening executive orders. They're going to use executive orders to take the guns. Or they're going to use ATF rulemaking, where the ATF threatens gun shop owners into not selling certain types of guns, or just shutting down entirely. Um, and, and then there's also senatorial laws, and there's state laws, as I mentioned. I mean, it's just full-fledged, and I got links to all this stuff, and again, it's old news. We're a recap show. I go over news after it's been exposed. I give you an in-depth analysis of it after the fact. Um, so in addition to this, let me do a time check real quick. Okay, I'm not highly advanced here. I'm just a, a guy with a cell phone camera doing what I can to stop the new world order. Uh, and this is as good as it gets at the moment, but hopefully my science fiction novels will do a much better job because they're geared towards awakening the zombies as opposed to this, which is awakened towards or geared towards awakening people who are somewhat intelligent, people who haven't been destroyed entirely by all the GMO and the food and all the fluoride in the water. Go check it out. Um, so, in, in additional news to all this, this, these laws and legislation and this gun control stuff, this is the strange part. Foreign leaders, foreign news outlets like the Chinese news and the Russian news, you can see stuff on RT, you got stuff you know, on Al Jazeera, you got stuff on all these foreign operated news organizations saying you need to disarm the American people. They're playing into the New World Order agenda. And, and again, it is a global agenda, so it shouldn't be surprising that other countries are saying stuff like this. But it is surprising because they've never done stuff like this before. But again, it's to acclimate us to the fact that we are living in a New World Order and no longer in a sovereign nation. You do what other nations tell you to do because there are no nations. There's just the New World Order. Um, but basically, China does the most outrageous call. They basically say since they owe our debt, you know, they own most of our debt, we have to do what they say. You know, they're in charge because they own us financially. So they, so they say. Um, and they basically said you need to, the President of the United States needs to launch a protracted war against gun owners. That's what they say. Um, so I'm going to get into more about this, the assault on the barrier number two, uh, in the next segment here because I'm running out of time. Uh, but as always, I want to thank everyone for tuning in, and I want to remind everyone, as I always do, stay safe, stay strong, stay free, and stay informed.